the most appropriate use of guiding plane is requirement of a precision attachment balanced occlusion perpendicular occlusal plane and for easier class pretension okay so for those who don't know what a guiding plane is as the name suggests guide and plane okay so it's going to guide the denture the cast partial denture in one plane so it is important in having a good path of insertion now look at this image over here this flat surface prepared on the premolar is going to allow the denture to fit in in a suitable way now because there are teeth present in the mouth for a, par a partial denture wearer the denture will not directly go in in the mouth like a complete denture so you have to tilt the denture a little and wear it you cannot tilt the denture too much because the mouth opening is restricted you cannot have very flexible uh, mouth so you need to have a predetermined path of insertion so that the denture goes back in its place and doesn't come out okay it should not have multiple paths of insertion so this guide plane is going to ensure that this path of insertion is taken care of the second thing that is the that it does is it reduces or minimizes the wedging stresses on the abutment okay it reduces the forces coming on the abutment because it makes the removal and insertion quite easy then it stabilizes the denture and the teeth against lateral forces and teeth against these horizontal forces okay then it helps in indirect retention to some point it maintains good hygiene in that area so these are the functions of guide plane now the part of the denture that sits on the guide plane is called a proximal plate okay so now as you can see in this image this is the direct retainer or the clasp this guide plane is ensuring that the denture goes back in its place and the clasp gets engaged on the tooth in the desired way because this is the retentive terminal and it, it has to engage the undercut over here on the tooth so the guide plane ensures that the rpd comes and sits in its position now coming to the options the most appropriate use okay requirement of precision attachment is the function of a direct retainer direct retainers can be extra coronal intra coronal the intra coronals can be uh, precision attachments even extra coronal precision attachments are possible balanced occlusion no because it is prepared on the proximal surface it has nothing to do with occlusion perpendicular on the occlusal plane again uh, with the occlusal plane it has no such significance it is not a use it is a feature okay so if this is your occlusal plane if this is your premolar then this is the guide plane it is perpendicular to the occlusal plane but it is not the use of the guide plane lastly for easy clasp retention so like i told you this clasp will sit in its position because of the function of the guide plane so the correct answer is 4 for easier clasp retention